In the last episode of this series on the renovation of my 1813 Ship Captain's home, Longfellow Design Build worked on the framing, insulation, and plaster. I talked more design with surroundings as fabric and wallpaper started arriving. Melinda Eaton of Melinda Eaton Drapery visited my home and I visited her workshop. I also visited John from J&J Woodworking at his workshop and I toured some scenic protected areas with Sibican Land Trust. Home Life and Style is brought to you by The Pine Hills, offering inspired new homes and daily adventures just 45 minutes from Boston. Snow and Jones, a fixture in New England homes since 1952. Classic Tile and Stone, your tile and stone destination. Vineyard Home, elements for a fine home, including fireplace, music, video, and automation. And South Peak, your ultimate four-season resort on Loon Mountain. I'm Parker Kelly. Welcome to Home Life and Style. <laughs> I am passionate about design, food, and travel. I love discovering new places, meeting new people, and sharing who they are, how they live, and what they love. In each episode, I'll introduce you to a new destination through the eyes of the people who call it home. Join me as we celebrate these towns, these people, these homes in style. This is the sixth of the eight-part series on the renovation of my 1813 Ship Captain's home. In this episode, I visit the studio of artist and teacher Carrie O'Donnell. We start demo on the deck and ramp out back. We plant privets, and Perfection Fence installs a beautiful arbor at the top of the driveway. David Janess of Boston Wallpaper comes to scope out our wallpaper projects. Decorative painter Peter Schiffer comes to discuss my decorative painting ideas. and. I learn more about Captain John Pitcher's sister, Elizabeth Pitcher Tabor, and her legacy. It's another jam-packed episode coming from my antique renovation in Marion, Massachusetts. Let's go. If you know me, you know I make art, and I love art, and artists. So, I always find a reason to support them. This time, I went to South Shore artist and teacher, Carrie O'Donnell. She's not only super talented and an award-winning artist, but a fantastic teacher who inspires. I met Carrie at her art studio while she was finishing up a class of budding young artists. So let's talk about you. I, I, I definitely want a piece of your art in my home. I'm sure of it. But I want to talk about, so you lived on the South Shore for how long have you lived on the South Shore? I've been here for 17 years. 17 years. Yes, in Marshfield. In Marshfield, the whole time in Marshfield. Mm -hmm. Yes. And your students are all from Marshfield or from all afar in you know, South Shore? Or? Um, I have students from Duxbury uh -huh. and Pembroke and Kingston, but most of them are Marshfield. Mm -hmm. And I think it's sometimes with an artist, it's teaching the younger people infuses your excitement for it. Do you mm -hmm. think? Mm -hmm. They inspire me. Yes, exactly. Yes, absolutely. So, so when did you start making art? When did you think... I like this. Like, I remember what, the day. Do you? Oh, I remember the exact day. Yeah, I was seven, yes. waiting for my mom to pick me up, and there was a um, a horse draw. Um, one of those ca carnival horses. Okay. Horse heads hanging from the ceiling, and I wanted it. I wanted it so badly, and it just occurred to me. Well, if I draw it, then I'll have it. So I sat down, and the teacher gave me a bunch of paper, and I remember crumpling it up over and over until I got it. And I was so excited and my mom picked me up and there it was. And I remember my grandmother had it in her bedroom hanging up for the longest time. But ever since then, I just have been drawing and painting. Like, what do you hope, like what's the best thing that could come out of the class when you have children? Uh, I just, to really respect nature and just love, you know, the animals and the birds and, and want to care for their environment and 
take care of their environment. So it goes beyond just being able to draw a bird yeah, for you. I mean, their comments toward one another. I love the texture on the throat. I love the way the sky colors. I love, I mean, their, their positive comments to one another were so um, spot on and innocent and encouraging. And it's just, a, it's just a really beautiful environment to watch. Well, you're a lovely person. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and your whole life is uh, is about art, about teaching it, about living it, and mm -hmm. and about and about nature. And it's it's evident. And I love your studio here in in, in Marshfield. Can people come and and just stop by? Like, absolutely. how often are you here? Well, like I am by appointment, but absolutely every Saturday I'm yeah. here. And when my sign is out and you see my light on, I'm here. Yeah, and I have open houses often. That's good. And it's a good location. You get, get a lot of it? traffic. Yes. Yeah. Well, your soul shines and everything. Oh, thank you. So nice. You're a part of my life now. Oh, I love Continue that. Continue success. Appreciate it. I've got joy to share with you. Just a little hug every day will solve your problems. I got love to share with you in my pocket. Just a little kiss on the lips and we'll skyrocket. We go. Need a fresh new look for your kitchen or bath? Snow and Jones can help you get there. We've been located on the South Shore in Cape Cod since 1952 as a family business, so it's given us a long time to establish roots and a good reputation. We really try to train our people on style and design as well as the technical aspect because missing one or the other can really throw everything off. So uh, they have great insight. We really can take all those pieces together and create that full project. Start your Snow and Jones project today. My oldest son, Nathan, was visiting and is never timid when it comes to hard labor. He offered to finish the deck and ramp demolition for me. With the old deck and ramp removed, it was time to start building a new one. We decided to extend the deck all the way across the back to make for better entertaining. At the top of the back driveway, I wanted to add some border for privacy. My son Nate was visiting and offered to plant privets for us.
One of my partners from the last renovation we did was Perfection Fence, another family-owned business. I wanted to add an arbor to make the backyard separated from the driveway. Perfection Fence was the perfect choice. Winston Southworth is someone you want to meet. This 21-year-old owner of Southworth Landscape Design and Construction was born to work and work hard. I discovered him and his business through his parents who own an upholstery cleaning business. They follow me on social media and I follow them. One day they posted about Winston's new equipment purchases and we started up a conversation. I'm always happy to promote someone who is disciplined and dedicated to his or her dreams. Winston came over to get the ball rolling for my new back driveway. I've worked with Kristen and Julie for about seven years now, in about 30 projects. They care as much as I do about the finished product. And every time I walk in, I'm always like, girls, what do we have new? And they always have things set aside to show me. And it's, every time I go there, it's so exciting. They text me pictures as soon as tile comes in that they think is really exciting. Like uh, Even on a Saturday, I'll get a text. And they'll know that I'm just as excited to see it as they are to share it. And so they're, they're my go-to. Recognized and respected. Classic tile and stone on Boston's South Shore. At Longfellow, we have a constant need for quality materials and supplies. Knowing Midcape can commit their best to us means we can commit our best to our customers every time. As you may know, my partner Cap and I are lifelong boaters. We've had many framed charts in our coastal homes over the years. While researching charts one day, I stumbled upon Nautical Charts wallpaper. I reached out to them immediately. Buffy Farrell, the owner, picked up the phone. She was fantastic. So I wanted to uh, have you on uh, because the wallpaper has arrived. Uh, Dave has not yet put it up, but I'm so excited to see it. And um, I wanted to talk to you about your business and I wanted to let everybody know how easy it was to work with you. Oh, I'm yeah. so excited it arrived. I had so much fun on your project because you kind of gave me so much room to help with the design process and you sent me all the different wall options, told me the areas you loved the most. So then I was able to kind of say, oh, this wall would fit this chart perfectly. This ceiling would fit this chart amazing. You know, it was just, it was fun that you kind of let me make some suggestions and kind of help guide you of what charts are gonna look best on what walls. And uh, you know, with, with your, in your situation with your charts, and it, it usually goes this way with most avid sailors, they like to keep that traditional soothing chart colors. But we get some clients that really like to start customizing the charts and changing all the colors in the charts. And you know, that's a, also a fun 
fun thing that you can do. And I know like if the design is purple and green in their room, you can make a chart purple and green. I mean, I, I yeah. absolutely think that's the, the customizable aspect of it is, is incredible. And um, I, I just love that we, we chose where I sailed as a child and then where I, where I live now and where I sail now. Mm -hmm. So I love the fact that I was able to have two sort of really memorable, important charts. Yeah, so, so where do people um, most often put the, your wallpaper? As in bathrooms? Bathrooms. Or is it bathrooms? bathrooms is, is, sweet in the bathroom. is absolutely the most popular room. People love to wrap it, do a continuous wrap, which is really, really fun. It adds so much, so much to a small room. My favorite spot to do is a ceiling yeah. because it's just so dramatic. It is, yeah, exactly. Well, really nice to see your face. Yeah, you too, Father. Not only was Buffy from Nautical Charts Wallpaper amazing to work with, but as an extra bonus, she recommended a wallpaper installer in my area. Dave Janess of Boston Wallpaper, a high energy pro, stopped by to check out all of my wallpaper projects. And there were many. The powder room mm -hmm. is the first, the first okay. one. And, um, I love this tile. Look at this. It, well, it hasn't been um, washed yet. It just got grouted. We just grouted, mm -hmm. grouted the other day. But we're going to have wainscoting in here. Uh -huh. And then there's going to be a uh, navy blue wallpaper. And I'll yeah. show you the paper. Yeah. And then uh, window treatments to go with it. And then maybe some silver leaf on the ceiling. So oh, my. I want it to be very pretty because it's the only yeah. bathroom that everyone... I always encourage people to go wild in the bathroom. Yes. Just, you know, <laughs> that's the opportunity to splurge with wallpaper. Because there's not that much wall space and... Why not go for it? Exactly. So. Okay, so you, you, um, I actually met you through Buffy. Oh, yes, Buffy With that does the nautical charts. map charts. Yes, yes. So, so Buffy thinks that this would be oh, the perfect wow. spot for kind of Cayman Islands. Yes. She has another spot for Buzzards Bay, where we live, uh -huh. but um, this would be Cape in the Islands. This will look great with wallpaper. Yeah, she was looking for something that had, you know, a straight space uh -huh. for okay. the particular chart that we wanted. Okay, so, excellent. So one, two, and, we're, and, we're, and you haven't even left. I know, <laughs> I, I barely made it in the house. <laughs> and so the, this is the dining room, and the dining room does have paper also. I'll turn the light on just so you can oh, see. Look at the old walls. This is the paper oh, that's going in here. Tebo, yes. Mm -hmm. so I have not seen this material yet. Good. I just hung the funnest Tebow wall covering today yeah. in Hingham. <laughs> Would it have monkeys or something? No, it had little fish. Aww. And I have never seen this pattern before, so they're always coming out with great products. I and love that. You can't go wrong with Tebow wall coverings. Excellent. I love your excitement and oh, optimism. Yeah. And then that you're appreciating which ones, because you know, it's not easy. There's so many great things. I found Boston-based decorative painter Peter Schiffer online. His work looked beautiful. I had two spaces in mind that would require a talented touch. First, I wanted my wood kitchen floors painted in an overscaled black and white harlequin pattern. I also wanted a ceiling treatment in the living room. Peter came by and we talked about it. All right, let's first start with the primer. Okay. Um, cut it in and roll, let it dry up, cure a little bit, come back and do the base coat, which is going to be your base color. Okay. Uh, then you draw your squares with the uh, laser. All the lines are laid out and we're going diagonal. Yes. Right. Yeah. I believe the difference between checkerboard and harlequin mm. when I've been researching. And I really love uh, how dynamic the harlequin feel. Yeah. And it's a nice float into the room as well. Do you have a place you usually start for? <laughs> well, this house is... It's an antique. Yes, <laughs> yes, it is. So nothing is going to be square. So we start in the middle and we just go from there. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah we had some problems with some tiling upstairs because the walls definitely aren't, yeah, yeah. <laughs> aren't even. That's, that's part of the charm. Okay. All right. Cool, Peter. I'm excited you're here. All right, me too. Really cool. Okay. One of the things that really drew me to the town of Marion was the Marion Art Center, known as the MAC. 
It makes a big impact in this community and beyond. It offers high quality theater, musical performances, art shows, classes, and more. It's just a great asset to the community and a big draw for me in my decision to move to Marion. I'm definitely not the only one who thinks the Mac is magnificent. Captain John Pitcher is the brother of legendary philanthropist Elizabeth Tabor. Elizabeth Pitcher Tabor. You've likely heard of Tabor Academy, a private boarding school in Marion named in honor of Elizabeth Tabor. In fact, a statue of her sits in Marion's Centennial Park, commemorating her love for Marion and generosity to the town. I sat down with longtime resident Wendy Bidstrup, a big fan of Elizabeth Tabor, and her contributions to the town of Marion. Wendy, so nice to have you meet me here at the Bicentennial Park with this beautiful statue of Elizabeth. <laughs> Thank you so much. Everyone I spoke with in town said, if you want to know about Elizabeth Tabor, Wendy Bitstrip. Wendy Bitstrip. Well, thank you. So I have tons of questions. One of them is, how long have you lived in Marion? Oh my goodness, that's a really hard one. We came here in 1965. 1965. And how long have you been interested in Elizabeth Tabor? Well, my husband came here as a young teacher at Tabor Academy. Mm -hmm. And ever since then, I'd, I'd heard about Elizabeth Tabor, but she was very secretive, mysterious, and no one really knew much about her at all. So. I became curious. She went to the Sipican Seminary for girls, which was the building that is now St. Gabriel's Chapel. And at age 14, became a teacher. 14? School usually ended at grade six, mm -hmm. just the basics. And she taught in the new school that is where the post office is now for a long, long time because teachers were not allowed to be married in those days. Oh, really? And she was 33 years old, heading towards spinsterhood, <laughs> but somehow met and married a clockmaker from a Kushnitz named Stephen Tabor. They had three children, Another tragic story, it happened often in those days. Mm. They all died before they were two or three. But Stephen Tabor and Elizabeth were very shrewd investors and he understood about the value of oil. So when it was discovered in Pennsylvania, they invested. They also invested in railroads. Now at this time she was in a Kushnet still. No, she went to New Bedford. Oh, she went to New Bedford. To Bedford. County Street, which is where the big oh, mansions were. Gotcha, the right. house she lived in was, is gone okay. now. They were living there together okay. gotcha. for a long time until she was 80. Then she came back to her native place. That's how she referred to Marion and chose to spend her money here. She being a teacher and serious about academics. The first thing she did was build a library. The third building she built was Tabor Academy, right over there. Which is now the townhouse. Yes. That was the original Tabor Academy. And it was uh, dedicated and opened in 1876. Well, thank you for your time. And uh... thank you. I Thank you for sharing your town and your information about Elizabeth Tabor. Well, she deserves it, don't you think? She does. <laughs> 
Tune in next time when it all starts to come together with installations, decorative painting, wallpaper, fencing, television and sound systems, quartzite kitchen counters, custom wood counters, tile, and more. It's install time, my friends. Stay tuned.